well, I'm doing this, don't do it. And, and God, hey, no, you got to take this. Just sit down. Right. And I had to sit down and take it. Yes, Lord. But I'm stu studying the word. I'm learning. Even in my humility, I don't got a dime. I don't have a, a good job. I'm working part time. Don't have a dime in my pocket. I'm sleeping on my mama's couch. But I'm getting saved. <laughs> Some of the fondest moments of my life. Because I was getting the word of God. And I began to take the necessary steps. One by one. When the whole world is shouting in my ear. I know I can go back to my old life at any time. It will be ten times easier. But God is saying, this is your path. That's it. That's it. I began to be what they call in the streets hot. I know y'all know what that means, right? When you're hot in the streets, you can't go back to the neighborhood or to the block because you're too hot. Everybody watching you, the people watching you, the cops watching you. And I was, I was spiritually hot. I was looked at as a firecracker. So all the people from my old life, I couldn't go to them. Couldn't go to this church, couldn't go to that church because I was hot. And at that time, again, I'm studying the word. I'm learning who God is. Every now and then, my enemies will come knock on my door. Where does that go? They go in easy. And she's like, won't you come come to Mary Evergreen Lisa Life? That's right. Ah, I know ain't Lizzie, but I, I got to do my own thing. The Lord, the Lord got me sitting out. I got to do this. This is what I got to do. It's like, okay, cool. But she kept knocking the door. She'll come try to find me again. <laughs> right? I have First Lady. That's right. Won't you come to Oktoberfest? At the library, we're having a dinner. Won't you come? Oh, again, I'm hot in the streets. Nobody will even return my phone call. I'm being preached from poor peace that I got a devil because I'm standing on the truth. Because of the same things that he just said. These are the things I was saying in 2013 and 14. And everybody said, oh no, he's crazy. Because I said we shouldn't be throwing money at the preacher's feet expecting a blessing. Because I said we shouldn't be robbing God's people by twisting scriptures. These are the things I was banished for. So again, when I stand here, I can say that God is victorious. And we just get started. God will vindicate you in front of your enemies. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. I represent that. Yes. Amen. First lady, I'm sorry, I, I, that's why I left off it. She began to come out to her face. Come to this, come to that. Okay, I'll come. Okay. Pastor Washington, why don't you come be the guest superintendent at Sunday school? Again, I'm not going anywhere. Well, why don't you come to the Bible study today? Okay, Pastor. They reached out to me at a time when I when nobody would touch me. <coughs> Bishop, and I appreciate that. Bless. One Sunday, Pastor Washington called. <laughs> he had gotten tickets to see his beloved <laughs> Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> Now, Pastor Washington, if you don't know him, he don't believe in missing church. No. He don't, I say, he do not believe no. in missing church. No. For 11 years, he don't miss church. Right. And he called me. I believe it was Sister Vicky. Yes. Let me give her her credit, because if I don't, she'll be talking about me. You know who bought them tickets. Why you say my name? Sister Vicky got him Cowboys. This yes. is when Jerry World first kind of opened. Uh -huh. It was brand new. Yes. Pastor said, I need you to come run the service. I need you to come run the service. I'm going to Jerry World, run the service. I came to Mary Evergreen, right here in this building. That's right. This was six years ago. I ran the service. That's right. Afterwards, everybody began to call me. Pastor, we had such a good time in service. They're trying to make him jealous, I think. <laughs> Pastor, we had such a good time in service. That was six years ago, and I never left. That's right. I've been here ever since. I said all that because I don't know when I'll get to tell that long story again. <laughs> but I believe this moment calls for it. Because God is good. Amen. A lot of the people, a lot of, and I'll be done, and we'll be back in the hands of pastor in a moment. But a lot of people my age don't go to church. That's right. That's so true. And it's not necessarily because they want to live a worldly life or 
they got a devil or they they can see through the bull that's it. That's that goes on in church that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. and this generation is not going to deal with no. it they're not going to sit in church for 30 years and see no progress that's right. see no transformation of their lives right. no spiritual excellence they don't get to see that so they say why should I go to church I see the people that's going to church they've been going to church 30 years they're exactly the same way I'm going 30 years ago so when Bishop Murray powerfully and eloquently yes. puts that truth out there, yes. that's what it's going to take to save the souls of men. The devil's not going to surrender and give them to us. we got to go snatch these souls from the devil and say, hey, this is wrong. This is what God represents, and this is right. So in our ministry, I can guarantee you this. I can't promise that if you give me a seed that... God's going to make you rich the next day. I, I'm sorry. I can't guarantee you that. That's right. That's right. I can't guarantee you that you're not going to have any more problems when you right. come to this ministry. That's right. It may get a little difficult for you. <laughs> but what I can guarantee you is you're going to be the best spiritual version of who God has called you to be. That's right. I know we have, this is in my honor, and I'm so grateful for it. I know there's food and other things there, uh, but before Pastor dismisses us, um, we do want to take up an offering, not for me, but for the man of God that gave this word. Amen. Amen. And for our church. Amen. And again, if you have a gift for me, put it in the offering. I'm telling you right now, we want to bless the church. I don't need, I work 70 plus hours a week. God, I'm a genius. That's what God has made me to do. I can get money. I don't need your money. But the church does. The ministry does. And we want to bless and impact the ministry. So I'm with, do we have, where's Brother Mike? If you can get any, if none of our other. Brother James has to go. Okay, so we'll get Brother Mike or somebody else to uh, take this offer up for us. Amen. Amen.
What a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful service. Amen. Our bishop has really laid the foundation. And our pastor has really expressed to us um, his heart. We, we can feel what he has been through in his life. But God has elevated him now as the pastor of Mary Evergreen. I'm not just up there talking because I asked the pastor if I may say a word uh, before I give the benediction. And he, yeah, he said, you don't have to. Yes, I do too. He's the pastor. But I would like to, as Bishop Mary has um, um, said to us today through the Lord, you know, sometimes people do leave because they don't want you. They're in the condemning business. Amen. Amen. And they want you to condemn. But I got this out of the message. God does not want we in, We're not in the condemning business. Right. Amen. 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 And we tell folks what's right, That's right. in the spirit of love. Amen. And so that people will know God's love. And that's what God has given to me. You know, yeah, we make mistakes, we make errors in our lives, but it should not be to where it separates us Amen. from doing what God called us to do. Amen. 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 And I would like to say to the pastor, I'm going to tell him what uh, my pastor told me, because I got to thinking about when um, um, Bishop Mary was preaching. It's been almost 50 years for me also. It's been 40 something, 46 somewhere in that area. Amen. And y'all met my son yesterday. He took that church to another level. That's right. Amen. I started out with about 10 members. And before I left, we had 100 members in Sunday school. All right. Amen. 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 And, but this, we started out here. Didn't have many members. Still don't have a whole bunch. But we had more than we started. That's and I'll say that we know how many seeds in an apple. We don't know how many apples in a seed. That's right. And I would like to say to the uh, pastor that my pastor told me, you lead sheep, but you drive goats. <laughs> sheep will follow you, but goats you're going to have to drive. They're not going to do what they're supposed to do. You got to drive. That's it. Amen. But Amen. Jesus said, my sheep, hear my voice. All right. Amen. And they follow me. That's it. So, so next pastor, you may have to do some. We know you're going to do some leading, but you're going to have to do some driving also. Right? That's right. Because everybody's not going to do what they're supposed to do. Amen. That's right. And you know, I've asked us, you know, since we didn't have church today, uh, this morning, I asked us to do what we did in Sunday school and also in our services so that we can do what needs to be done. Amen. 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 And we have food um, at the fellowship hall, which is right down the stage, uh, for everybody who would like to stay in fellowship. Uh, and I put this down here. I will support gifts uh, or encouraged at this time. Now, did they show you his heart now? And I, I, you know, I hope he changes from this. But if he doesn't, then you know it's him. But he shouldn't, shouldn't put all his money, amen. And That's people right. give people. The Bible says if he sold it to us, spiritual gifts, That's right. how much more shall he reap our corner gifts? Right. So we need to be a blessing to our pastor. That's right. Amen. amen. With that being said, you take it like you want to, whatever, because uh, God doesn't need a kind of a soldier that ain't scared. That's right, God. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't scare me. Amen. I was 70 years old last week. Uh, yeah, today, son, I was 70 years old last week, and I ain't scared. Right. Amen. I ain't scared. My wife and I, we just bought a home. Amen. Amen. We just bought a home. I'm 70 years old. We just bought a home. Amen, because I ain't scared, Amen. because I know it's all in the Lord's hand. Amen. But I do want to thank everybody for what you've done today, for following uh, our next pastor. I mean, our pastor now, um, because that's what we got to do. 
I anticipate him doing like my natural son. He's my son in the gospel. I anticipate him doing the same thing, taking this thing to another level. That's right. Amen. Amen. And and so because we started out in the country, the church was over a hundred some years old. But God blessed us to buy this building, renovate down there with the land on both sides of the road, and now we got land here. We got land on Jefferson Page Road. We got land on Martin Road. We got land on Kitsap Marshall Road. That's right. Because of what the Lord has done. That's right. And I don't despise small beginnings because I serve a big God. Yeah. And the reason that I give a lot is because it takes a lot for me to live. Amen. Amen. And so God is good and I appreciate all of you. I love you and I thank God for you uh, for being here and being obedient to our pastor. Amen. Amen. So with that being said, let's take it. I, but I don't know if, if dad or mom want to say anything, sister, because I didn't know how you were giving the pastor money. <laughs> Amen. But dad and mom, would you like to, sister, nephew, niece, nephew, would y'all like to say something? Please, dad, please, please, please. Don't <laughs> I don't mean to put you on the spot, but I cannot, you know, I cannot leave here. Y'all, we just have a seat for a moment. I cannot. Well, it's right there. All right. Yeah, okay. I want y'all, let me tell y'all this first. I'm an ex-musician. And when, I'm on, when I was on stage, I could perform in front of thousands of people, and it didn't bother me. But I've never been a public speaker. And that's why I didn't, that's, that's what you just saw. <laughs> but I, I just want to tell y'all something real quick. Two, two, two quick stories. Right? His mother may not even know this, but he had to mention my mother today. She was here. She helped me And um, but anyway, when he was born, y'all may not know this, but Jamal was born premature. Uh, and he had had a bunch of surgeries when he was a kid. And when he was about four or five, he would stand on my mother's porch and he would take ministers, you know. And I'd be like, son, you can't do that. Don't, even, don't play with God like that, you know? But I had to reflect back when he was in the hospital, his mother was in the hospital probably two months, I believe, before they could give birth. And we had this doctor, he would come in the room and he would always be, oh, it don't look good, you know? It don't, you know, he, he may not make it. And I just got sick of him one day. I said, man, you go do your job. God's going to do the rest. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, <clears throat> but anyway, um, you know, at that time, I asked God to, you know, protect my, my wife and my son. And I promised at that time that I would make sure he lived a life of loving God and preaching the word of God. So when he was imitating preachers at five, it had never dawned on me. God was fulfilling the promise he had made to me. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And I'm here to tell y'all that's his love. He's never swayed away from me. Amen. So that's the first story. The second story was, I'm getting old, I need to remind myself what the second story was. <laughs> uh, oh, what a reason why he was born mature. I mean premature. I told the pastor the other night, him and his wife, that sometimes he forgets who the father is. You know? <laughs> yeah. And uh, sometimes I have to threaten him. Threaten him. And when I say threaten him, you know, all I have to do is tell him, you want me to go get my whole Bible, my whole Bible, and dust it off? Because we, you know, he's head strong. Yeah. He got that from his mother, not his dad. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, he would, he would all. We would always have these 
conversation going back and forth over the phone. And um, he would always challenge me, and I encourage him to do that. He can tell you now, we have these knockdown, drag out arguments because I inspire him to be great. I don't do mediocre. And I'm standing here today to tell you guys that I'm going to be joining this ministry. And next pass is funny. 
I'll tell this story really quick. To tell you that God knows, I say this to the ministry all the time, that God knows the end at the very beginning. His parents made me his godmother when he was born. Not knowing that one day I would really be his mother in Christ. Amen. And I thought about that the, uh, the other day and I said, you know what? You really do know the end and the beginning. And so we look forward to going to higher heights. Um, he is humble and he really is uh, just like his spiritual father. He's like his natural father and his spiritual father. Because we already saying we're tired of him. Oh, he just like him. Oh, he just like him. But we look forward to climbing higher heights in Christ Jesus through him. And uh, First Lady Prophet, it's so good to see you. Thank you for always supporting Bishop. Amen. Amen. And this pastor, uh, first, um, Sister Watson wouldn't allow you to go in your office, but your office now. And you could just take a stroll through there. Yeah. Um, uh, when the bishop is over, you take a stroll through there. I'm going to take the bishop to the office you left in. If you don't mind, that. Clark. Clark. Amen. So you can take then you come on in uh, to the office there. Amen. Amen. And because that's our gift to him. Um, uh, yeah, I told him he was going to be a good pastor because First Lady, uh, Sister White didn't want to be out of her office. And he said, I made my decision. I said, you're going to be a good pastor when you straighten up. <laughs> Amen. And so we're going to uh, stand now. And everybody just make your way down uh, to the fellowship hall. And um, we'll be down shortly as soon as I take care of the bishop. Um, because that's my responsibility, to take care of him. But I want to thank everybody for coming and, and, and being a blessing uh, to and witness this installation. Because again, five, uh, five years ago, when I was 65 years old, God put it in my spirit to make him the pastor. Now, I know some folks said I wasn't going to do it. Yeah. You ain't nothing but the devil. Amen. Amen. Because God gave it to me, and I don't mind doing it. Uh, and, and you know, as my son took over there and come, and I don't get mine at all, and I don't mind now. Amen. Amen. Because it's not about power to me. It's not about money. Amen. That's because right. God allowed me to make money, That's right. and I got money. Amen. 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 I don't, I, you know, I, I, it's not about that with me. That's right. Amen. Amen. And so, the sister wants to tell you, uh, she just wanted a four bedroom home. <laughs> Amen. We've been in it. Now for a week or so. Two weeks now. Amen. Because God is what? Good. And His mercy is everlasting. We didn't buy the house we wanted to, but we got one. Amen. They thank God for Jesus. Amen. So what that? Oh, she, she bought the one she wanted. That was the one I wanted. I wanted to be down there where my mother was. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you again for such a wonderful day. We thank you for being God in our lives and allowing us, Father, to experience such a wonderful service, a service that you have been glorified in, a service that has given us a pastor after your own heart that will feed us with the word of God. And I thank you for that. And I thank you for the food that we're about to receive. I pray that you will sanctify it. Cleanse it, Lord. Use it to strengthen our bodies, just like you use your word to strengthen our spirits. I ask it all in Jesus' name. And then I pray that the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I pray that the love of God, and I pray that the communion of the Holy Ghost, Amen. that it will rest, rule, and abide with each and every soul, and everybody say, Thank God. Thank God. Amen. 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 All right. God bless you. Amen.